All right, welcome back. We are now in Arizona. Yeah. Saddlebrook, I think, Arizona. North of Tucson. North of Tucson. That's all I know. East of Tucson. I believe it's called Saddlebrook or some kind of place. We're uh, on the trailhead of the Charlu Gap Trail, some forest road, about 20 miles or so of trail. Yeah. Seems like it gets pretty interesting uh, towards the end of it anyway. I guess we'll uh, we'll find out shortly. Any uh, Never ran thoughts? No, no, no clue. It's beautiful out here. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, we're starting at the foot of the mountains. I mean, we're right at the bottom of the mountain. I don't really know where the trail goes. I don't, think it goes I don't know anything. We, I no don't do, we do a little bit of research in the sense of, uh, hey, what are the trails in the area? But that's about where it ends. And even if you go back to, you know, when we were in um, our, uh, New Mexico, we downloaded like a ton of uh, GPS trail uh, yep. maps and all that stuff. And we didn't do any of them. We just kind of went and ventured up on our own. <laughs> As typical with us, we never really know what the heck we're doing. No. So. Go explore. Go have fun. I don't know what stuff. day of the trip this is because we had like another road day in there that kind of just really wasn't worth doing anything. We just drove down the highway all damn day. Uh, I think this is like our third day of wheeling. No? Third day of wheeling in about five days. I think it's, since a, we left I think the it's house. roughly five days on the trip. Third day of wheeling. And I know we're gonna screw this count all up eventually. So you can nitpick that later. Yeah, I don't know anything about this trip whatsoever. I'm not gonna lie, when it comes to this part of the trip, last trip I was a little more involved than in what we were doing. This trip, Bob's like, where do you wanna go? I'm like, yep, I'm following. Flip flops, that was yeah. the key. It was just, I can wear, so I can wear flip flops, and then I'm like, okay, flip flop weather's gonna be, you know, New Mexico, Arizona, Southern Cali out there. Yep. And let's go find some stuff to do out there, right? I think for the most part on this trip, though, I've been kind of just leaning on you. I'm yeah. like, you lead, you drive, and you should probably download maps, because I just wanna be brainless for like a week and like calm down and. And so after a few days, it's been, it's been good. Oh, it's been amazing. This is a sweet. We found our uh, one of our new favorite like locations to go off-roading and, and uh, trail riding and yeah. whatnot in the country, just about. So yeah. it's, uh, it was amazing. Now we just venture on and find more. Maybe, maybe this will top it. You don't know until you get out there, right? That's the beauty. We don't know. So we're all aired down. We're running about 10 pounds a day. Uh, unhooked our front sway bar links, and uh, that's it. We're going to go find that's a place it. to uh, explore and set up camp for the night. Yep. We're doing steaks tonight. We're doing steaks tonight. Nice. And some sort of a side dish, not just me. I like that, uh, that, that broccoli. We'll make some broccoli stuff. I don't know. Yeah. You can Maybe maybe we'll film a little bit of dinner so they can see what we're eating. Nice. I don't know. It's not just uh, Lunchables, as Ken would prefer. No, that's not <laughs> what I prefer. I don't prefer Lunchables. I just hate cooking enough that if he wasn't here, I would just bring Lunchables. All I hear every night is like, you know, if we were here, I would just be eating beef jerky and Lunchables. I mean, it's life-sustaining. <laughs> well, it is. You get good protein. I don't know that it's even good at all. Well, whatever. It's, it's meat that can be bad. Anyways, all right. Follow along. Let's go wheeling.
Lump it. There you go. Stop, 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 stop. Hard, hard, hard right. Yep. Go slow forward a little bit. I might have you back up and reposition. This is going to feel funny. Just trust me. All right. I trust you. So pull forward. I know. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't stop turning right. Okay. All the way right. Yep. At lock. Yep. Yeah, this feels very fucking awkward. All right. Now what? Start turning left. And then get off the brakes. Because you're climbing now. Yeah, go. Just go. Stay left and just keep climbing smooth. Don't let off the gas. And then just go straight up this and go up behind my Jeep. Yep, just go, go straight. All right, so we've been on this uh, trail for about an hour and a half or so. And Ken's been pushing me the last few days wheeling, which no lie, he's obviously way more experienced than I am. But every once in a while we get to something where I'm like, okay, where are we gonna turn around? And Ken's like, what do you mean turn around? And I'm like, I don't even see a line through this. And he's like, it should be fine. Anyway, we're at one of those areas. I don't know how well the camera is gonna do it's probably about 12 foot tall. Put, putting things into perspective. Maybe more. I will go stand next to this. Should we show them first or should I just go stand next to it and then turn around? I don't know what would be better. I'm just going to show you. But again, it's probably going to lose a lot of perspective. perspective on how large and radical this thing is. I'm going to, here, Ken, you shine this through your 
windshield so they can kind of get perspective of little me. It's much taller than me still. So needless to say, Ken is going first. There's and, a reason you always make me lead on the trail. And maybe only. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Uh, first, we should probably see what's around the bend before you commit. What do you think? Whatever. Okay. Whatever. Well, whatever. We'll do it. There's Ken way down there. Are you putting your seatbelt on? Second time in like. <laughs> You're on your dip. You're on your dip.
All right, Ken, we are halfway through the Charlotte Gap Road trail yep. thing in the National Forest and uh, just outside of wherever we are in Arizona. Yep. Thoughts on the trail today? Probably the prettiest trail I've ever ran in my life. There were some challenging moments for um, me. Okay, I'll go there. Um, the, it is... It wasn't the easiest trail we've ever done. But not by a mile. No, no, no. It's, it's, it is a legit off-road trail. I mean, it is legit. It has obstacles, has rock climbs, all sorts of stuff. Fun fact, if you are worried about the paint on your Jeep, don't come may here. not want to come down here, yeah. uh, there is a lot less blue on my JL than there was this morning. Correct. Yep. A lot There's of pinstriping. A lot of pinstriping. It is actually a legit tr- off-road trail. Though. I mean, there are rock, rock obstacles. There are hill climbs. There's V-notches. There's, there's everything. So there is everything. you do need high clearance four-wheel drive. Absolutely. Uh, do you need 37s and lockers? Probably not. Probably not at all. Not, not, not even not. vaguely, to be honest with you. Um, there are some challenging sections, but not like, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I didn't run lockers all day long. I had to put his front on a couple different times. But uh, On some of the steep hill climbs. Yep, steep hill climbs. I had to run his front locker a couple times, but and I there, never ran a locker all day. And I know you said, uh, you know, we've done steeper, but just um, like the situation where it was very rocky incline. Yep. It was a bit overwhelming for me, and I think that's kind of why you're like, just flip on your locker, you'll be all right. And uh, Correct. I mean, I did walk up it. I didn't have any trouble with no, it, but it was more mental you know, challenge than uh, than, than anything else. Yep. yep. But, I, uh, can see, I can see that. That's why I had to turn you from it. Yeah. But Epic no, it was, scenery, uh, though. I'm going to get, get kind of smoky on that one. Yeah. Y'all sure. sitting by the campfire right now. Right next to the campfire. You might not want to touch that when it comes out. <laughs> when it's time to turn it off. I wonder how good a GoPro is at heat. <laughs> we'll find out in a minute. Anyway, so we're going to camp out here for the night. Uh, yep. Make some dinner. Yep. Ken's going to sing him some songs by the campfire. and Kumbaya. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. I don't know. Whatever song you like to sing, buddy. It's like the only one I know, and that's the only part I know. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, then we're going to wake up and we're going to finish the trail. After yep. that, we'll show you what the, what the area looks like in the morning. we got a little more daylight, so... All sure. right, good morning. It was not a pleasant night last night, at was, least for me. It was great until we went to bed. It was, yeah, agreed. It was great until we went to bed. The wind picked up. I thought the wind was going to tip my Jeep over uh, with the tent. It was like a big uh, like umbrella catching the, like Mary Poppins. Like I, I mean, <laughs> we are literally in the valley of mountains right now, and I have no idea how the wind gets so strong for you. I think like, maybe it's going to look up. I have no clue, but holy crap, I kept thinking, I wonder if this could tip the cheap. It, it is was, so bad. It was really bad. I'm sure you can hear all the wind noise right now. The whole tent was just side to side. Doing this. Hey, Bob, you might need to edit this. I'm pretty sure they're not going to hear anything we're saying right now. <laughs> but anyways, it was a very windy night. Pretty chilly night. Uh, I mean, I was in my sleeping bag. I was good. I'm chilly now. Well, that, yeah, that's yeah. Like yeah. when you're in a, when you're sleeping bag in a tent, like it's yeah. no issues. It's perfectly fine. Uh, anyway, so we got about eight miles left on this trail. Yep, we're gonna jump on this trail, continue it up, and we literally have zero idea what we're doing after this. No, because well, we're not there yet. How do you know? We'll figure it out when we get there. Right. I'm assuming at some point when this trail ends, it either will end in another trail or in a road or someplace, and we'll flip a coin to go left or right or figure something out. I love that. <laughs> like what else? Are we how my whole life works. <laughs> Flip a coin. Yep, that's what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> so All right. we'll, we'll see what kind of fun we can uh, get into here in a minute. See ya.
Yeah, not too far. It's so uh, been a nice, brisk morning. <laughs> yep. <laughs> With a lot of pinstriping. I it's... wanted to stop and show all you folks. This is what the trail's kind of like. Just rocks and rocks and rocks <coughs> and rocks and more rocks as far as you can see. The beauty of this trail is these rocks are extremely, extremely grippy. There's no loss of traction here. I've been running all morning and all this stuff, 37s. We're running about 9 to 10 pounds on our tires. I haven't even used lockers once. I'm not saying that there are some obstacles that you could use lockers on. Uh, there was a really big... I did once. There was a really big wall this morning that I just didn't feel like screwing with. It's too damn cold. So uh, that would have required lockers. But this is uh, pretty indicative of this trail. You can see over here, between me and Bob is just more. It doesn't end.